I'm Natalie, and I'm going to be your midwife today. So this is Roxy, Roxy Mitchell. Has there been any bleeding, Roxy? No. That's a good sign, isn't it? And how many weeks pregnant are you? She's 33. That's right, isn't it, Ross? Why is this happening? Some pregnancies just don't last the full time. Uh, Ron, I can't do this. I can't do this for her to just turn around and tell me that she didn't make it. Look, I'm not going to let that happen uh, to you. Uh, but you can't fix everything, can you? I can try. Yeah, I can try. Ronnie. Oh, is she? I don't know. They won't give me a straight answer. Was anyone up? I'm sure. Yeah, well, I, I left him a message. Well, call him again. Ronnie! Uh, what are you doing? This allows us to record the baby's heart and the contractions. Just let your body tell you what to do. Oh, Roxy. what the hell does that mean? Slow, deep breath. <laughs> She's taking Roxy! The... <laughs> Maybe I should go. Huh? No, Phil. I have a lot of use here, have I? No, you're needed here. I can't believe Sean's let her down again. Yeah, well, I've told you a thousand times a boy can't be trusted. You did call him, didn't you? Yeah, well, you were there when I left him a message. Well, then where is he? Right, the only people I want to see in this room is the mother-to-be and her partner. Yeah. Now, just you wait a minute. Let I... do their job, lover. You don't mind staying with your sister, do you? I don't suppose I'll be much use. Let us know if there's any news. Yeah, of course. I need, I need drugs. Anything you can get your hands on, all right? What's she doing, Dad? Are you having a good old rummage, are you? You're fully dilated, Roxy. We're going to have to proceed. No. No, this, this can't happen yet. It's too soon. There's nothing more we can do. Well, can't you just stitch me up and just send me back home again, please? I'm sorry. Yeah, but you're not, though, are you? Roxy, Roxy. Trust me to get Cathy Flaming Bates to live with my baby. Oh, you said you wouldn't let this happen, Ronnie. I'm not sure what else I can do, Roxy. Oh, she's going to be all right, my little girl, yeah? Your daughter will have had less time to develop in the uh, room. What does that mean? As soon as a paediatrician is able to examine your baby, the happier I'll be. Now, I want you to stay as calm as possible, Shh. and in each contraction, I just want a small, gentle push. <laughs> Please don't leave me, Ronnie. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> As soon as we see the head, Roxy, I want you to start pushing gently. Oh. This is all my fault. Don't say that. If I'd have just done things differently, if I'd have just done things differently, she might have hung on. Look, you heard what the midwife said, OK? These things just happen. Yeah, but why do they happen to me? Oh. Because I'm a bad person, that's why. Why would you even say something like oh. that? Because of your poodle skirt. <laughs> what about it? <sighs> I stole it out of your wardrobe and I wore it to the under-14s <laughs> disco. Uh, and the bracelet mum bought you. You're doing really well, Roxy. Uh, I didn't go up the vacuum. I snapped it because I was jealous. It doesn't uh, matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it does matter. I want to be good, Ronnie. You are good. Oh, I want to be a good mum for my little girl. Listen, you will be. You will be. <laughs> Professor, is that uh, not? I don't know how it happened, Ron. You don't know how what happened? <sighs> Me and you, I'd had a fight. And I was in the club. And ah! I can see the head. Now, I want you to stop pushing, Roxy, and just pant. You're almost there, Roxy, OK? You're almost there. On the next contraction, I want one final push. No, I can't do it anymore. Oh, come on, Roxy, you are doing really well. Come on. I promise you, you're almost there. Come on, look, we'll do it together, OK? After three. One, two. She's here. Oh. As 
your baby's early. She's going to need some help. Uh, what's he doing to her? They're going to want to stabilise her breathing before taking her across to the neonatal unit. Yeah, but why can't I hold her? Uh, 